Let's get quizzical. Let's get quizzical, quizzical. I want to get quizzical. Let's get in a quizzical. Let me hear your knowledge talk. Your knowledge talk. Let me hear your knowledge talk. Let's get quizzical, quizzical. I want to get quizzical. Let's get in a quizzical. Let me hear your knowledge talk. Hi everyone, welcome to the video edition of the Headway Head Scratcher. Before I go on, just like to give a big shout out to people who volunteer and particularly our volunteers. Um, it's the end of National um, Volunteer Week and we love you guys. Thank you so much for all the help and input you give to us as staff, members and generally headway across the year. Thank you. Much love. Um, so, unfortunately, due to a few technical issues, it's just me today doing the quiz. Um, so I'll crack on with the first question. So question one, Mark Bolam is, was the lead singer of which 1970s band? Question two. Where in the human body would you find the smallest bone? Question three. Which Stephen King novel takes place at the fictional Overlook Hotel? Question four. Which is the longest motorway in the UK? Question five, who played Sean Parker, founder of Napster, in the social network, the film about Facebook? So that's who played Sean Parker, who founded Napster, in the film The Social Network, which is the film about Facebook. Question six, which Frankie Goes to Hollywood song was banned by the BBC in the 1980s? Question seven, which 2014 film starring Seth Rogen and James Franco caused the North Korean government to threaten action against the United States? Which 2014 Seth Rogen and James Franco film caused the North Korean government to threaten action against the United States? That's question seven. Question eight. Who was the England football team manager before South Gareth Southgate? Question nine. What's a baby elephant called? I don't mean its specific name. I mean baby elephants in general. What are they known by? Question ten. What type of pastry is used to make profiteroles? Mmm, yummy. What type of pastry is used to make profiteroles? Question 11. Which city is the burial place of the Polish classical composer Frederick Chopin? Is it A. Warsaw, B. Berlin or C. Paris? And question 12. In which English city would you find Headingley Cricket Ground? Question 13. In food and drink, what does the HP from HP Source stand for? So what does the HP in HP Source stand for? Question 14. Which country's name translates into English as the saviour. So that's which country's name translates into English as the saviour. Question 15. What colour is the eight ball in a game of pool? What colour is the eight ball in a game of pool? Question 16. 
Who plays the character Travis Bickle in the film Taxi Driver? Question 17. What is the official language of Brazil? Question 18. What was the first animal to go into space? Question 19. The criminal William H. Bonney was better known by what name? The criminal William H. Bonney is better known by what name? And last for this round, question 20. In mythology, Romulus and Remus were raised by what animal? Romulus and Remus were raised by which animal? Okay, that's the main bit of the questions done. It's time for the bonus round. Right, it's time for the bonus round. And today's category is TV programmes. I've got for you uh, 10 clips of TV shows. you just got to tell me what they are. Easy as that. Good luck. Number one. You better show people you're still the cocks to the walk. And us some cash to the landlords of the pubs. Pay some veterans to fix the places up. Give us the bed. So what about you, Tommy? I have to go to, to Charlie's to stable the horse. She looked foot sore in the box. Number two. something to announce but out of respect for convention i will wait for you to finish your current conversation what are you talking about that uh, cultural paradigm in which people have sex after three dates i see now are we talking date the social interaction or date the dried fruit <laughs> never mind what's your announcement number four Number five. Look, I'm not down with this background singing nonsense. I'm Beyonce. I ain't no Kelly Rowling. Okay, look, Mercedes, it's just one song. And it's the first time we've been kind of good. Okay. Number six. The yard from Shop Team that was there before. Right there. Yeah, there in it. What's going on? Oh, what's going on? 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 Sajid, listen, man. Why have you got all this shit out? Are you resting an iron, man? Or what is me? The risk assessment management meeting dictates this level of response. The risk assessment management meeting dictates this level of response. Shut up, Sajid! Shut up! Well, so you know, yeah? You could have trained two highly qualified nurses with the money you spent on training this useless brown bollock. Don't, don't, don't call me that. Don't listen, call me that. listen, yeah? Stop wasting taxpayers' money on this bullshit. With the police, we waste taxpayers' money on whatever we like. Yeah. Well, you Number eight. After so many years. What Sergeant Brody, my name is Carrie Matheson. I served as a case officer in Iraq. Your picture was on our MIA wall. I saw it every day for five years. It's good to meet you in person. Thank you, ma'am. I'm sorry we were unable to find you sooner. I appreciate that. I'd like to start with the first few days of your captivity, if you don't mind. Not at all. How soon after you were taken did the interrogations begin? Pretty much right away. And finally, number 10. The muddy red footprint on Morgenthau's counter. That's fine work, Detective. Thank you very much, sir. Testament to what can be achieved when you dress appropriately. Let's pound it out. You know what? Such fine police work. Let's share it with the whole team. Santiago, Boyle, Diaz, get in here. Bring everyone. And a camera. That's not necessary. Let's have a hand oh, for the here. work of the fine master detective, Jake Peralta. Oh. Yeah, let's have a hand, everyone. Give him a hand. Yeah, nice. 
So that's it for another edition of the Headway Head Scratcher. Hope everyone enjoyed that. Um, I'll see you again next week for some more quizzing action. Um, in the meantime, everyone have a great weekend. Stay safe. Keep, uh, keep your distance from people. Remember, wash your hands. And I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye now.